My dear friends, I'm pleased to greet you from the Cathedral Basilica of Christ the King in Hamilton. I want to tell you about an exciting initiative of Pope Francis in which he invites our entire diocese to participate. In May of 2021, Pope Francis announced the date and theme of the next Synod of Bishops. It will take place in Rome in October 2023. The theme of this Synod is Towards a Synodal Church, Communion, Participation, and Mission. In preparation for this Synod, the Holy Father has asked each diocese throughout the world to encourage the people, including those who might feel distant from the Church, to reflect on the theme for the Synod and to share their experience of the Church today. In the Diocese of Hamilton, a committee has been formed to assist us in gathering your thoughts and in preparing the diocesan report on what has been heard. In this brief video, you will learn more about the Synod and how we will gather the information in the coming weeks and months. I invite each of you to let your voice be heard and to pray for Pope Francis and to ask for God's blessing on this historic moment in the life of the Church. So what is a Synod? And what is special about this Synod of Bishops? in which we have been called to participate. The word synod comes from a Greek word, which denotes a council of the church. The first such gathering is recorded for us in chapter 15 of the Acts of the Apostles. The leaders of the church gathered in Jerusalem around the year 50 AD to discern what was required of Gentile or non-Jewish converts to Christianity. And in particular, the question of circumcision and certain dietary customs, which were part of Jewish practice. Over the centuries, councils or synods were most often gatherings of bishops, theologians, and civil rulers for the purpose of deciding on an issue of doctrine, or to hold elections to various offices in the church, or to determine laws for the Christian community. In recent centuries, synods and councils have been somewhat rare occasionally held in particular dioceses. However, following the Second Vatican Council between 1962 and 1965, Pope St. Paul VI reintroduced the practice of synods for bishops, gatherings of bishops from various parts of the world to discuss issues of concern for the universal church or for particular continents. For example, the synod in 2015 focused on the family. The Synod in 2018 was convened to discuss young people, faith, and vocational discernment. And the most recent Synod in 2019 took place to address issues in the Amazon region. In announcing the Synod of Bishops, which will take place in Rome in 2023, Pope Francis indicated that this Synod would be different from recent Synods. This Synod is not intended to be a single event, but rather a process which is to unfold over three years, involving each diocese, each continent, and then the bishops who will gather in Rome in 2023. It will involve listening to the voices of all the members of the Church throughout the world. This Synod is not being convened to clarify any doctrinal issues or to determine any Church policies or disciplines. Rather, this Synod is meant to be an experience of walking together listening to one another and discerning together how the Christian community can carry out Christ's mission to proclaim the kingdom of God. The question which Pope Francis sets before the whole church is this, how does this journeying together, which takes place on many different levels, allow us to proclaim the gospel in accordance with the mission that has been entrusted to us by the Lord? And what steps does the Spirit invite us to take in order to grow as a synodal church. And so the purpose of this unique and historic synod is to gather the people of God, either in person or virtually, to be attentive to the Holy Spirit's prompting, to listen to one another, and to discern the path forward. As the theme suggests, we are being invited to offer our thoughts on how we can deepen our communion with the Lord and how all the members of the church can participate more fully in its mission. Pope Francis is asking each and every one of us to become involved in the synodal process leading up to the Synod of Bishops 
to be held in Rome in 2023. The Pope tells us that the point of the Synodal Church is to listen as the entire people of God to what the Holy Spirit is saying to the Church. It is to make us the people of God, actors in the process of discernment rather than passive onlookers. The Pope, through the Synod documents, asks us to speak boldly and honestly and to create space for those who seldom speak to do the same, especially the voices of the young, women, and the marginalized. He is calling the Church to connect the three voices, the voice of the Holy Spirit, the voice of the people of God, and the voice of the bishops into one. As we spend the next two years, not in a one-off process, but on a journey towards a permanent conversion. We invite you to participate by contacting your parish to join a discussion group or complete the online questionnaire by clicking the online button below. It's important to remember that for this process to be effective, all three voices, the bishops, the people of God, and the Holy Spirit must be engaged. To quote the preparatory document for the process of information gathering, the purpose of the synod and therefore this consultation is not to produce documents, but to plant dreams, draw forth prophecies and visions, allow hope to flourish, inspire trust, bind up wounds, weave together relationships, awaken the dawn of hope, learn from one another, and create a bright resourcefulness that will enlighten minds, warm hearts, and give strength to our hands. We look forward to sharing this journey with you. I'm going to share my voice. Will you share yours? I'm going to share my voice. Will you share yours? I'm going to share my voice. Will you share yours? I'm going to share my voice. Will you share yours?